Prices.com.au studios, I'm CJ Dor. Well, this video series is all about how to get started in the marketplace with your trading and investing. And we've looked at certain investment products up to this point, and one of them is options. So this video is our options education. Now, what are options? Well, firstly, it's for people who currently own shares. So it might be you now or down the track. So this is a good way of you making additional income out of those stocks that you currently own. So how does it work? Well, let's look now at a strategy called covered calls. And let's work with a company ABC. Let's say you already own that stock and currently trading at $5 a share. So what you're gonna do is write an option. And that means you're going to give someone the option of buying it off you for a designated price in future should it reach that designated price. And you get to decide what that price is. Now let's say currently trading at $5 a share, you're looking for it to go up. And you've decided if it went up and it hit $5.50, that's a 10% profit, I would absolutely sell for that. Not knowing that it will get that high, it might not, it might go down, it might get just short of that. But if it hit $5.50, I'd be happy with that and I would sell if there's someone on the other side that's willing to buy it for that. And that's gonna be a buyer in the marketplace, a buyer of these calls. Now they're a real bargain hunter and let's see how they work. So firstly, in Australia, Options expire on the 28th day of the month. That's here locally. Internationally might be different, but that's in Australia. So what we're gonna do is put in place our strike price, and that's 550. You're gonna put that out there and say, who is willing to buy it off me for $5.50 should it get that high? The buyer says, absolutely I will. They enter into an agreement, and there you go. You've now got your strike price. You're waiting for it to hit that up and two, and including the 28th day of the month. Now, what that buyer has is the right, but not the obligation to buy it off you, for the 550. Remember, they're a bargain hunter. They want it to go up as high as possible, 560, 570. Remembering, the only amount they have to pay is the price that you designated of $5. That was the arrangement you came into. Now, it's not all bad. You didn't think you might get the 550, but if it did, hey, absolutely, I'd sell. So good news for you, you get to take profit, but they might get a bargain, so let's see how it works. Firstly, they have to offer up a premium. That's a little insurance policy that puts them in the game and allows them the opportunity to get this bargain. So here's how it's going to work. Here's a month, first day to last day, and the 28th day is where the option's gonna expire. So company ABC worth $5.50, our strike price agreed upon is $5, and away we go, we start trading. Largely moving sideways up to this point, starting to turn up inside the 28 days, really getting close to the strike price now, and it's actually gone through. So what's it now? $5.55, so this is where it comes into play. Now, you've reached your strike price, you're happy you got your 10%, but the buyer, remember, has the right, but not the obligation to take them for the 550 strike price. They want them to keep going higher, knowing they only have to take them off you for the strike price. Now again, not all bad, you've got what you wanted, that's your 10%, good trading for you. So, we are inside our 28 days, so the deal is on, and here we go, we'll keep trading. Now let's say we get up to 570, now the buyer's gonna pull the trigger, they say that is, that's great news. I'm taking that for 570, but I only have to pay you our agreed amount of 550, and that's why they put up that premium, the chance to get a bargain, and that's how they're an entrepreneur in the market. So you haven't missed out, you've still got your 10%. Now, knowing it's on the way up, you can reinvest if you like, so there's good news for you. So here's the equation and how it started. Company ABC, $5 a share, you put out there a prospect. What if it gets to 550? I'm gonna designate it that as my price. Who wants to buy it for that? Should it get there? They said yes. We've got to the 28th. That's our strike price. They put up a premium. So in this case, it was money well spent. They got a bargain. The difference between 550 and 570, that's their profit. They keep trading. So what about if we turn that arrow down and it's a red arrow now and it stays under the strike price. It just doesn't get there. Maybe it doesn't even get anywhere near it. Maybe it goes down from $5. Well, guess what? you get to keep the premium if it hasn't struck that 550 price by the 28th day of the month. That's your extra little bit of extra supplement income. Now, you also get to keep the stock, so you can keep trading, and that's how a covered call works. You can make money out of the stocks you currently own, so it's a really interesting strategy. So if you do want more information about how to get started with options, covered calls is one strategy, get in touch with us at info at shareprices.com.au. So that was all about our uh, investment product options and our options education. So happy trading if that's the way you're going. As for now, I'm CJ Dor from the shareprices.com.au studios.